guys, today I'm doing a review and a tutorial on the new e.l.f. smudge pots. A lot of you were requesting this review and a tutorial, so I will do the tutorial at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that towards the end. But first, we're going to talk about all these shades. I'm going to swatch them for you, and yeah, let's get started. So these are from the Essential line from e.l.f., eyeslipstace.com. I will leave a direct link down below in the information bar. So this is what they look like. They just come in this really cute little plastic container. It says e.l.f. on the front and it has like a silver strip around. The cap is white and that's what the product looks like. Um, there are nine different shades to choose from. They're $2 a piece. Very affordable. And to compare these to the other e.l.f. products, like for instance, the cream eyeshadows from the Studio line. Size-wise, these are a little bit um, taller. There's a lot of extra bulky packaging, if you can tell. The product is actually right here in the center, so all this clear stuff you see around it, that's just excess packaging. The consistency of these, it's like the long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows. If you don't know what these are all about, I haven't done a review on these, but if you definitely would like me to, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, I do have all of these as well. These are like a whipped gel consistency, and that's what the um, Essential Line Smudge Pots remind me of. They have that sort of moussey, whipped texture, but they're not super shimmery like the long-lasting ones. But they remind me a lot of the Studio eyeshadows. They're pretty similar. They have like that sort of shiny shimmery finish so none of these are matte these really do last a long time they are smudge proof budge proof and once they set uh, they're not really going to go anywhere so the quality is fantastic especially for the price they remind me a lot of you know if you love the studio ones they stay just like that once they set they set into place kind of like you know the Maybelline color tattoos and other products like that. They do set very quickly so I would suggest working with them very quickly making sure that you blend out um, the edges so it doesn't look really harsh. So for application you can use your fingers uh, with some of the lighter shades it's a lot easier but I suggest using a synthetic flat shader type brush something like this Sorry, it's messy because I used it today. It's just a lot easier and quicker to just dip your brush in there and then just apply and blend it onto your eyelid. So the only thing I have to say that is probably a disappointment is these three shades right here are very, very sheer. The darker ones are very, very pigmented, but these three right here are not that pigmented at all. And this one is Ain't That Sweet. It's the really pretty pink one the white one here and this one is called pearls of wisdom it's like a white and then this one is called gotta glow it's a really intense yellow gold color so these three shades right here i really don't recommend they're okay but they're just so sheer that you really need to put an eyeshadow over top so these are more for like a base all right so let's go ahead and get into the swatches because i'm sure you guys want to know what these look like Alright, so I went ahead and zoomed in the camera so you can see a little bit closer. So the first one here is called Pearls of Wisdom. And like I mentioned, this is a very shimmery, very sparkly, <laughs> pearly white. But definitely this is more of a base. Um, or you could even use this to kind of highlight with, like the inner tear duct or maybe the brow bone for really intense, like, white shimmery color. The second shade is called Ain't That Sweet. And this is a very very, I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera, it's a very soft, soft baby pink color. Like, really, really soft. Let's see, it's very, very sheer. It's right underneath the Pearls of Wisdom. It's very, very faint pink. Oh, you see what I mean though? These first three shades I'm showing you, they're very, very sheer. Just to show you what it looks like, because I'm not going to dig my finger in there, it's just very moussey. Like, see how it just kind of moves around? It's very, very whipped and creamy. The third shade is called Gotta Glow. And I think out of these three lighter shades, I think this one is my favorite just because it's a really pretty gold color. And this one shows up a little bit better than the other two. So, here's a close up of Gotta Glow. It's a really pretty, like a mustard yellow gold. Oh 
oh, before I forget, I forgot to mention, these do not crease at all. You can even apply these without an eye primer or a base underneath it, and they have, I've never had any issues at all. All right, moving on to the next three colors. These are all really pretty sort of bronze, taupey type colors. These are probably my absolute favorite out of all nine shades. So the first one here is called Cruisin' Chick, and this is the one that I did the I look with today that I'm wearing and this is a beautiful intense shimmery taupey color with just a little hint of bronze this is definitely my favorite out of all the shades it's just very very wearable and it looks beautiful on the skin the second shade is called back to basics and this is a beautiful golden bronze this definitely reminds me of like a copper penny color so beautiful. I really, really love this one. I haven't worn this yet, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Also, you want to make sure that you tighten the caps on these so they don't dry out. And I usually store these upside down. And the third color is called Brownie Points. And this is the most pigmented one out of the three here. So intense. It's like a combination of um, copper and like a brown this one is gorgeous. I have worn this and it's so pretty. Yeah, Alright, and then the last three are the darkest shades out of all nine colors. So the first one is called Poppin' Party and this is a really intense royal purple. And it has just this beautiful shimmer to it. Well, they all have a shimmer to it, but this is a really gorgeous, intense, and very pigmented purple. Like I mentioned, the darker colors are definitely more pigmented than those first three that I showed you. The second shade is called Ocean Bound, and this is, oh my goodness, this is definitely another one of my favorites. This is a beautiful, deep, like, ocean royal blue very pretty color and last but not least this one is called hit the town and this is the darkest color out of all nine shades this is a beautiful sort of metallic deep deep gray almost like a smoky color it's not quite black but it's definitely like a metal gray Alright you guys, so that was it for the review and the swatches on the e.l.f. Essential Smudge Pots. If you want to stay tuned and keep watching, I will do a tutorial using one of these little guys here. If you want to see how I got this really smoky, taupey eye look, then definitely keep watching. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Primer. So I already primed my eyelids and all that jazz. And this one is called Cruisin' Chick. It's a really pretty shimmery taupe. I'm going to take that on a synthetic flat shader brush. I'm going to apply this all over the lid. You want to work quickly with these and, you know, blend them out immediately because these set really quickly. So you want to work at one eye at a time. And right away I'm going to take a domed shader brush. This is the e.l.f. contour brush and I want to blend that immediately because like I said these set really quickly and once they set they set they're not they're not going anywhere so just blending out any harsh edges. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the same brush and I'm also apply this to the lower lash line. And I'm not taking it all the way in just on the outer third of the eye and kind of connect it up with the color on the lid. Just going to blend that out. So for eyeshadows today, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Eyeshadows. I do have them depotted in my Z palette. So the first shade I'm going to use is called Lunch Break and it's a really shimmery taupe color. I think it'll match this. Um, smudge pot really really nicely and I'm just going to apply that right over top of Cruisin' Chick. Oh yeah, that matches really really well. Oh, that is so pretty. I just love taupey colors, whether they're shimmery or matte, because I think it just looks really good with my brown eyes. 
I don't know. I just, I really, really like it. So I'm just patting this on the lid and kind of blending it very lightly into the crease a little bit. And also onto the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take What's Your Name, which is a really pretty, it's kind of like a satin matte color. It's like a really nice soft taupe. And we're going to put this in the crease. I do have a review, by the way, on these uh, pressed mineral eyeshadows. I did come up with uh, five new shades. That's not in that video, but I will link it down below if you want to see swatches of all the colors. This is sort of a soft black color, almost like a gray. So this one is called Forest Frolic. And we're just going to apply that to the outer V just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. I'm just going to keep going back and forth and then blending this out and you can make this as dramatic or as soft as you would like it. I'm going to go back to what's your name and put that right back in the crease. I love shimmery taupey colors. I'm going back with that black and I'm going to apply a little bit uh, on the lower lash line. And for a highlight underneath the brow, I'm using Beauty Queen, which is a really nice, sort of a peachy, shimmery, I don't know how well, you can't even see it on camera, but it's a nice nude. And we're just going to pat this underneath the brow. And for the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to use Bridal Party, which is a shimmery white. I'm going to add some black eyeliner. And I'm taking the NYX Wonder Pencil in light and put that on the inner part. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner. Alright, so I went ahead and applied two coats of the e.l.f. Mineral Mascara and I decided to pass on false lashes today just because I really like this mascara and it gave me a lot of um, length and volume. So that's it. That's a really quick um, eye tutorial using the e.l.f. Smudge Pots. These are really awesome and great. Definitely check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash tutorial. This is the first time I've ever done one of these and let me know if you guys want to see more videos done this way when I do like a review. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Everything else on my face will be listed down below in the down bar, so definitely check that out if you're wondering. So I will see you all in my next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.